tonight I'm going to start working on making a tool I've been wanting to for a while. I'm going to try making a, a fly cutter. I got a piece of aluminum round stock here. That's really all I had. I'd rather use steel, but this is what I got to work with, and we'll just give it a try. It's about two and a half inches diameter, about four inches long. I've got this boring bar I found secondhand on the internet um, with an indexable cutter. And I have a R8 tool holder, three quarter inch diameter. And I'm gonna go give it a shot to make a a fly cutter. It's a it'll be pretty adjustable, uh, which is what I'm looking for. I was having a hard time finding one I liked, and the ones I did find were quite expensive. So now I'll go ahead and I'll get the aluminum stock set up in the chuck. And we'll start turning it down to fit the tool holder. Now I've got the metal set up in the chuck. I've got my parting tool here. I'm going to make a mark. That's where I'll be stopping. So this area here will turn down to about three quarters of an inch. So we'll go ahead and put a mark in here. And that way we'll know where to stop on our travel. And there we have it. That's pretty much all we're going to do in the lathe for now. We might clean this up. But now we're going to go over to the mill. Um, we'll put a flat spot in here so it'll have a spot for the set screw and the tool holder. And then we'll eventually we'll bore a hole in the center. I'm back. I got my part in my vise here. Uh, I got my end mill set up. And what we're going to do, we're going to put a notch in this part of the shaft that's going to go in the tool holder for this set screw to lock into to hold this in the tool holder. I've already got the depth set where I want it. So now we'll just go ahead and make the cut. All right, we got our slot and the set screw fits right in there. So now we'll go ahead and test fit it in the tool holder. As you can see here, I got the, the slot I milled lined up perfectly with the hole for the set screw. Um, the tool holder bottoms out, which is what I was going for. So we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and run the set screw in, make sure everything fits up good. It tightens the, the part in the tool holder. And then we'll go along We'll move along to the next step and uh, start boring a hole for the boring bar. I finally finished up making my fly cutter. I don't have the video you saw of me boring the hole for the boring bar to go through was not for this piece. That was a test piece I tried with the angle I wanted. It worked out, so I went ahead and did this, which I don't have any video of that. I also don't have any video of drilling and tapping for the set screws that the bolts that hold the boring bar in place but uh, it turned out really good i've been using it a little bit and it works good my original plan for it was to use it to uh fit a carburetor spacer for my van engine to fit it uh to take it down to the height that i needed and to to true the both mounting surfaces up so I make sure they're flat. Um, I haven't tried on anything else yet. I'll make a video. Uh, I do have a video of using it on the carburetor spacer. And before I post that, I will do one of um, using it on a, 
a piece of aluminum just so you all can see but it turned out good there's some things I'd like to do a little bit better about um, but for my first try I'm happy with it I may redo it with a little little larger piece of diameter metal I would prefer to find a piece of steel, but I'm happy the way it turned out, and it works great. Thanks for watching. Please like and subscribe.